guys. Well, let's get right into it. It's already on to the next one for Shakur Stevenson. Frank Martin will no longer proceed with a planned WBC lightweight title fight versus Stevenson. An effort to finalize the planned November 16th ESPN main event in Las Vegas was instead met with the response from Martin's team that they were no longer moving forward with those plans. ESPN boxing insider Mike Koppinger was the first to report the development, which top rank officials confirmed. The news comes just four days after it was believed that the fight was set to grace the fall schedule. The two sides reportedly reached a deal in principle hours before a scheduled purse bid hearing on Tuesday. Stevenson, 20 wins, 0 losses, 10 by way of knockout, was always on board with the fight as he aims to become a three division titleist. It was believed at the time that Martin, who was promoted by Errol Spence's man down promotions was just as eager for the fight as Stevenson. The two sides came to a financial agreement for the ordered vacant title fight that changed in the past 24 hours once Martin's side was presented with a contract but instead opted to walk away from what would have been his first title fight. Newark Stevenson, who is promoted by top rank and co-managed by Jay Prince and Josh Dubin, have already laid down the gauntlet for his next targeted opponent. Open quote, most duck fighter in the sport of boxing. Edwin, get ready, I'm tired of yo bitch ass saying my name, close quote, Stevenson said. The fight to whom Stevenson referred to is Edwin De Los Santos, who's 16 wins, one loss, 14 by way of knockout. The 23-year-old Dominican Southpaw has been relentless in his year-long pursuit to land a fight with the 2016 Olympic silver medalist and former two-division titleist. Open quote, remember that I am the danger, Shakur Stevenson. I can't wait to get this guy in the ring, De Los Santos said earlier this month. That moment may come soon. Initial steps were already taken to help advance that fight. Stevenson is the mandatory challenger to the WBC title that was made available when lineal and unified lightweight champion Devin Haney opted to instead pursue WBC junior welterweight titleist Regis Progre. Los Santos is currently ranked number six by the WBC. He's promoted by Samson Lukowicz. Samson Boxing and largely fights under the PBC umbrella as does Martin. Under WBC rules, he would be eligible to fight for the vacant title as the next highest ranked available contender. All right, guys, well, what do you think about Shakur Stevenson versus Edwin De Los Santos? Um, you know, we are huge fans of Edwin De Los Santos. Uh, we don't know how the fight's going to go. Um, guys, what are your thoughts on this fight? Um, we want to see it. We want to see it. We're dying to see Shakur Stevenson in the ring, period. Um, and we are Edwin De Los Santos fans. So, guys, let us know who you think uh, who's going to win in the comments below. Do you think Edwin De Los Santos has a shot against Shakur Stevenson? And if he does have a shot, how do you think the fight's going to play out? Do you think it's going to end in a knockout? Um, do you think it's going to go to decision? Uh, do you think that they are on two different levels? Let us know guys in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also share the vid. We appreciate all the love and support. Take care.